If there's one thing I have to say I'm quite grateful for, uh, it's every time an antinatalist, or a morbid, I guess, Benatarian, uh, calls me a nihilist. I just it, it just tickles me when that happens, um, simply because that's generally the objection that uh, the religious make towards atheists. You don't believe in anything. You just believe in this horrible, cold, empty universe, which just doesn't interest me. And I would counter that with, well, okay, just because you're not interested in the cold, empty universe doesn't mean that the universe is warm and full of nice things. It doesn't work like that. Um, and conversely, when I'm discussing my views of life, the universe, and everything with a certain type of antinatalist, I get the same sort of uh, response. Well, if you don't believe in anything. What are you doing attacking my ism, my belief in something? You're just a nihilist. You don't believe in anything. Which is an interesting thing when you think about it. One would assume that people would come to atheism based on reason and skepticism. Quite obviously, um, some people come to atheism for other reasons, i.e. they believe that religion is immoral, it's a dangerous idea, um, it's... Uh, uh, you know, it leads people down the wrong path, it gives us an unrealistic view of the universe, etc. Um, apart from skepticism, those are some reasons I can think of why people would become an atheist. Um, but skepticism might not be their reason for being an atheist, because if you're fundamentally skeptical, which I think I am, although I'm skeptical even about my own skepticism sometimes, um, one would assume that you would apply skepticism to everything. Skepticism should be applied uh, to antinatalism if you were a, if you became an atheist because you are a skeptic. Um, you don't stop being skeptical simply because you've changed your ism from one to another, from being a theist to an antinatalist, assuming you ever were a theist in the first place. But I don't understand why people seem to think that, that skepticism should be selectively applied. Um, if you ask me, if you're skeptical of everything, in the words of Sherlock Holmes, what remains has to be the truth. Um, and being skeptical of reason and rationality is also a useful tool as well, because um, we can say that, say, concepts or axioms like time, space, um, life, everything, um, are useful tools to figure out what's going on around us, but we also have to understand that they are tools nonetheless. They are not absolutes. Um, time and space do not phenomenally absolutely exist. Uh, they're simply things that we have invented in order to allow us to make sense of a, a universe which is extremely difficult to make sense of at the best of times. So we've got to maintain that skepticism at all times, otherwise you simply fall into another dogmatic uh, rut. You simply fall into another us and them. You're the chosen people and everyone else are the heathens or the Gentiles or the whatever, the Kaffirs. Um, it, uh, it, it doesn't actually um, strike me as a rational thing to do to abandon skepticism when one is um, uh, supposedly come to one's point of view from a position of skepticism. Um, it, it seems irrational for uh, someone who is a Benatarian to sort of use terms like um, nihilist in a pejorative sense. Uh, I'm not saying, however, that, that such beliefs are rational, and I'm not saying that my own point of view is rational either. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong here. It's just I'm examining the idea of uh, the phenomenon, I guess, of the morbid antinatalist who sort of says life is you know, life sucks, and um, it's best for us to auto-extinct. That in and of itself is an ism. That in and of itself is uh, a, a, an act of faith. So uh, why do we preach against faith and then embrace faith all over again and accuse anyone who disagrees of being a nihilist? Interesting idea, isn't it? Thank you.